technical means. Another advocate of this new technology was Victor Schauberger. Your propulsion theory is a mistake. This statement was made by inventor Victor Schauberger, who was believed to be associated with these esoteric societies. It addresses one of the essential points of the issue. Nowadays, we would call this the search for an alternative form of energy. Back then, however, there was much more at stake, namely the quest for another science, a radically different technology. To put it simply, we could say implosion instead of explosion. The positive elements among the esoteric scholars of the Third Reich were aware that all divine creations have always been creative, never destructive. A technology which results in explosions and is based on the principle of destruction cannot therefore really be in keeping with divine intentions. All internal combustion engines, for example whether piston engines or rocket propulsion systems, work on the principle of an explosion in other words, with destructive capabilities. Their ultimate effect were to be destructive. The environmental damage meanwhile visited on the planet by the technology of explosion, including atomic energy, exhaust fumes and so on, makes it quite clear that the call for a new technology, like the one under discussion back then, is clearly justified. Victor Schauberger's experimental flying prototypes worked on the principle of levitation. Esoteric knowledge played an ever-increasing role in the search for new sources of energy and motive power. Such research as there was, was particularly important in the development of electrogravitational and tachometric propulsion. This seemed to be at the very core of the alternative technology. The energy source of the future, cheap, clean and independent of raw materials. Two special departments, U-13 and SSE-4 were set up to concentrate exclusively on the realization of this new technology. The intuition of Johannes Kepler led him to the secret of the Pythagorean. The Johannes Kepler introduced him to the secrets of Pythagoras. Victor Schauberger's vibratory theories tied in with the traditional teachings of Pythagoras and Johannes Kepler. The monochord, an acoustic measuring instrument used by Pythagoras, demonstrates to us how the universe was created using sounds, which we obtain through a division of the sides. The entire universe was created using this principle of harmonic resonance. Integral numbers in proportional relationship to one another determine the structure of matter. This holds good for the universe, as well as the atom, the periodic law of elements in chemistry, the Mendelian laws of heredity, the laws of leaf arrangement in botany, as well as the formation of crystals. The list goes on. Wherever we have mathematical structures and proportions, we encounter the basic principle of the monochord, harmonic proportions. Victor Schauberger used the mathematics of the monochord in order to develop and build upon his integral skills and his knowledge of the inner universe and its vibrations. One more thing, his mathematics were not Euclidean. The secret teachings of Pythagoras were taken up a Templar order, guarded and passed on. Victor Schauberger made use of this knowledge to develop his theories and in so doing discovered implosion. In keeping with the laws of nature, we can see here alpha and omega, the keynote to the overtone going on further to the last tone and ending in the creation of the entire universe. Symbolically, alpha and omega represent spirit and matter. Therefore, what we have here is something whole. This knowledge therefore makes an all-embracing science possible. Implosion is the utilization of the potential of the inner universe within the outer universe. Due to the forces of energy and evolutionary science, we have been able to make great strides in the field of antimatter and with it do away with the effects of gravity.